in the name of Jesus. But these children, they will fulfill their purpose. The of God, they will fulfill their destiny. They will fulfill their destiny by the Holy Ghost in Jesus. We are afraid. Amen. Let us that we make a difference by following the ways of Christ. Let us begin to pray. Let us begin to pray. Oh, Father, for Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. 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 Sister Holiness, can Amen. I just talk to you there? Um, can I ask everyone to mute, please, because we're getting too much interference. Apart from Minister Naomi, can mute herself and, and Sister Holiness. Every other person should mute, please. And then just pray. Then when you are called upon, please, then you can then speak because um, all the co-hosts are trying to mute people, and as he was doing it, people were muting themselves. So we're we're actually live on faith on Facebook and on YouTube. So you know the interference is not good for people that are joining from Facebook. So please, my sisters and my brothers that have logged in and our parents that have supported us, please kindly uh, uh, mute yourselves. And when you are called upon to speak, then you can unmute and then. You know, so that we can hear the person leading the prayer. And I believe that you're going to pray as well in Jesus' name. Amen. Over to you, Sister Holiness. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Let us pray that anyone that the enemy has tied down, may God set them free. Let us begin to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we pray for anyone them. that. I know that they down. Lord, you shall release the person in the name of whoever of us has been tied down. Father, release them, release them, release them, release them in the name of Jesus. We pray for the mighty 
Any one of the children, any one of us, the adult, any one of us that's entitled so father, any in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, let them free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that the enemy has said, they will set them free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, set them free in the mighty name of Jesus Set them free. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. You. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Sister Holiness. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for leading those powerful prayers. May the Lord empower you. May the Lord give you the spirit of a warrior in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to, I, I just want to welcome you all again on this platform. Thank you all for joining us. I know today is going to be a big day of open heavens in the name of Jesus. We just want to welcome our mommies and our daddies for joining us. We bless God for your lives. Thank you so much for believing in us. We thank you. Thank you so much for supporting us today. God bless you all. I just want to invite Sister Elizabeth. And also I want to remind everyone that we've all got five minutes each. Five minutes each, so let's try to adhere to our time. Sister Elizabeth, over to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us thank God for today and for our lives. Begin to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just want to thank you. We thank you today. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for every one of us. We thank you for what you're about to do for us today. We thank you for what you have done already. Blessed be your holy name. We give you great honor. Thank you so much for loving us. Thank you, Lord, for abiding with us. We thank you for protecting us. We appreciate you, Father. Thank you so much for you are good and your mercy endures forever. We bless your holy name. We exalt your holy name. We are praying. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. The book of Proverbs uh, 9, verse 10 says, The fear of the fear of the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Let us begin to pray that as we grow up in the ways of God, we will continue to obey the word of God. Begin to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray this morning. The word is declared of the Lord, O oh Lord, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We pray, Lord, that as we go through this life, your fear will be upon us, that we will fear you. So you grant us wisdom to be the ways of life. Father, we appreciate you this morning. We love you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you, Father, for your word. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray that as we grow up in the ways of God, God will, be, God will be proud of us and our parents will be proud of us. Oh, Begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray, oh God, this morning, we yield unto you, God, we pray that as we grow up, oh Lord, you'll be proud of us. Our parents will be proud of every one of us. In the name of Jesus, we pray for your touch, oh God. Glorify your name in our life. Help us, Lord, to grow as good children in the name of Jesus, that we will set examples for other children to live in the name of Jesus. Father, we appreciate you this morning. Thank you for what you are doing for us. We thank you. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Glory to your holy name. Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray that any plan that is not of God Will, will not come to pass in our lives. Oh, Begin to Lord, pray. Lord, we pray the mighty name of Father, in the name of God. Pray. We bring every one of us on this platform before you, and we ask, Lord, that any plan of the devil in our lives will not be sustained in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that only your plans for us will come to pass, that we will live a good life to glorify your holy name. We bless you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Begin to grow in our lives, Jehovah. 
In Jesus' mighty name. We thank you. We appreciate you, God, because you will protect and guide us throughout our ways of life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. The light of God will continue to shine in our lives. Begin to pray. Oh Lord God, your light shall continue to shine in our lives. Whatever we do in the day. Your light shine upon us. Let your light shine upon us. Let be the light of God wherever we go in the name of Jesus. That we will not contain any darkness, but we will portray your light that our light shall shine wherever we go in the name of Jesus. Lord, we appreciate you this morning. We give you praise and glory and honor in Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Lord. We bless and we appreciate this morning. Thank you so much for what you are doing for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Sister Elizabeth. God bless you. We thank God for your life. I pray that the blessings of God will overshadow you. It shall go ahead of you. The Lord himself will open great doors for your future. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. I just want to welcome all the, the, the new people who have just joined us. God bless you all, our mommies and our daddies for supporting us. We are very, very grateful. Thank you for believing in us. We bless God for your lives. God bless you all. We are going to call Sister Success. Sister Success, are you there, Sister Success of Sass? Are you there? Sister Success. I think she's not in here. So we'll call Sister. Are you there, Sister Success? Yeah. Oh, God bless you. I'll hand over to you now for five minutes. Can you lead us in prayer, please? Okay. Um, my topic is about divine healing for all children. Third John says, Dear friend, I pray that you may prosper in every way and be in good health, just as your soul prospers. Jeremiah says, Can we have your camera on, please? We want to see your face. All your other friends on the platform wants to see your face. Thank you so much. God bless you. Um, I can't put my picture on. No, I mean, show your camera. You can't beat your picture, just your camera. We want to see your face. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. You there now? Um, okay, should I start from the beginning now? Yes. Yes, okay. please do. My topic is about divine healing for all children. Third John says, dear friend, I pray that you may prosper in every way and be in good health, just as your soul prospers. Jeremiah 17, 14 says, heal me, heal me, Lord, and I'll be healed. Save me, Lord, and I'll be saved, for you are my praise. Let us bow down our heads as we pray. Lord, I know that you are God who heals, and you are the God of impossible. I pray that you heal every children out there who are in distress, pain, and all are suffer suffering from mental health issues, Lord, restore their full health back in the name of Jesus. Lord, send comfort and strength at this time of difficulty in the name of, in the precious, precious name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray that you care for each other of your children. So I put my all into your hands and ask you our great healing for your great healing in Jesus' name. Pray this prayer point. Oh Lord, arise and crush down every Wickedness in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the lives of the wickedness of our children. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the lives of the wickedness of our children. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the lives of the wickedness of our children. 
Never the enemy has broken in our life. We consume by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. We cancel every plan of wickedness. Sister says, can you unmute yourself, please? Okay. In the name of Jesus, Father, we blow God for you, my children, for that. We cancel the plan of wickedness. In the name of Jesus, Father, we are the children of your own in the name of Jesus, for protection over every one of us. We pray, oh God, that you protect us and deliver us from the hand of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, let your name be glorified. Let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. God, we thank you. Father God, we thank you that you've, you've helped us in every way and um, everything. Father God, I heal everybody, every children that's sick in the hospital. Let them all come healing in the name of Jesus. Father God. Father God, I focus on the blood of Jesus. Father God, any children in the hospital, anybody who's not healed, Father God, I pray that we can heal them in the name of Jesus by your precious hands in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Jesus Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Empower your pandemic and the Lord be with you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Our theme today says it's okay to be different. Okay to be different. So we are going to call our first speaker. We are going to call our first speaker, Sister Aku, to lead us in the in the next five minutes, please. Between eight minutes. Over to you, Sister Aku. Are you on the line? Okay. Good morning, Over everyone. Over to you now. Today's topic Good is morning. about being different. And my first Bible verse is found in Esther chapter 5, verse 2. Can we please open our Bible step, please? Esther chapter 5, verse 2. So it says... And when the king saw Queen Esther standing in the court, she found favor in his sight. And he held out to Esther the golden sculpture then was, that was in his hand. Amen. Amen. So the story behind this is that normally back in the days of Queen Esther, no one was allowed to see the king without his permission. However, her people's life were in danger. And if she hadn't done that, she would have been killed. And it's really bad. Like everyone, the king, because they found him as equivalent to their God. So then in order to save the people, she had to be different from everyone, everyone else. She could have decided to just stay still and not do, not do anything. And then had her people killed alongside her. And in a situation like this, either way, she's going to be killed because if you go against the king you can't be punished very seriously and it could even be death so then either way she's going to be killed whether she disobeyed the king or obeyed him so she chose to be different by disobeying the king and by so doing she was able to save her life and also save the life of her people sometimes in life we are faced with situations where we have to be different and it doesn't matter even if you have to disobey someone or break the rules. Sometimes you have to be different from people just because everyone of the world is dressed in a certain way doesn't mean that you're also going to dress a certain way. And also in Matthew chapter seven, verse 13, can we please open to that place? And I read, enter the narrow gate, for the gate that is wide and the way is easy, that leads to destruction. And those who enter by it are many. So it tells us about how people want to follow the easy way, want to follow the way to destruction. 
sometimes in life you think maybe the easier way the shortcuts is going to get you to your destination quickly but then it's got its own consequences and risk before you do something you need to assess the risk and just because everyone is doing or going through the broad way doesn't mean you also have to do it you need to stand out and there to be different and go through the narrow way it may cost you a lot of things though but it's going to save you and grant you salvation amen amen also to be a leader you don't have to be like every other person a leader doesn't just go and live their life anyhow they see what they can do to be different so you can't just be the same as everyone else and be a leader and in Romans chapter 12, verse 6, it talks about how God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. If your gift is to prophesy, speak out as much faith. And if your gift is to serve others well, you need to serve it well. So then what I'm trying to say is that even though sometimes your friends might have something, let's say because your friend is going, has maybe a particular job or something, you also want to do the same thing. Or some people even go to college and university without knowing what course they want to do. And they follow the pathway of their friends. Maybe that's not what your purpose that God has given you. And at the end of the day, you end up wasting your life. And then it just comes with regrets and consequences. So what I'm trying to say is that be different and it's going to help your life. And it's also going to save people around you. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Sister Aku. Yeah. That is very enlightening. We are supposed to be different. Yes. We don't have to enter through the broad gate. Bible says you should enter through the narrow gate. It costs a lot to enter through the narrow gate. There is so much discomfort, but if you have to be different, you have to dare to be different. Oh, that's amazing. God bless you, Sister Aku. We have learned a lot today. And I hope every one of us is taking the gist out of all what we will be taught today. We have to dare to be different, to be different and stand out wherever we go. So if we are not there, there is a vacuum to be filled. Amen. God bless you, Sister Aku. May the Lord give you more wisdom and enlarge your territory. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to welcome all our mothers and our daddies on this platform. Thank you so much for believing in us and thank you for supporting us. What could we have done without you? Thank you so, so, so much. We really appreciate you today. God bless you. We are going to call Sister Hazel. Is Sister Hazel there, please? Sister Hazel. I'm here. God bless you, Sister Hazel. Please, over to you for five minutes. Thank you. And today's topic we will be doing is about being different. If you think about it, we are all different. God created us with all unique features, personalities, and traits. We should give thanks to God because he created us to do great things. Today, I picked the Good Samaritan story. From Luke chapter 10, verse 25 to 37. A, Jew a Jewish man was attacked by thieves on the street. A priest came along but didn't do anything. A Levi passed and never helped. Then a, Samar a good Samaritan came along and helped him. He was compassionate and put oil and wine over his wounds and bandaged him. He took the man to an inn and paid for him. The, mess the message in the story tells us race should never matter like what colour we are, black, white, green or pink. We should help others regardless of what they believe in. Do not do what everyone else does. Do what God wants you to do. If everyone else is being rebellious, live in righteousness. Do not be afraid of being different. Be afraid of being the same as everybody else. Wow. Let us pray. 
Dear God, hold our hands and lead the way. Help us to be good every day. Let us know what's wrong and right. Let us know what you have planned. Lead the way, God, hold our hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's just clap for Jesus. I want you to unmute yourself and clap for the Lord Jesus. Amen. I'm learning a lot from you guys, I must say. I'm learning a lot from you guys this morning. Mr. Hazel says, do not do what everyone does. He sa she said, be afraid of what doing what everyone does. Be rather afraid of what everyone does. So you have to stand out because if yours is different, everyone will be looking at you and be looking to you. But if you do every what everyone does, you are not different from everyone else. Mr. Apu said the same thing. Mr. Hazel said the same thing. Let's put some points down because we are learning a lot this morning. And I know we'll walk out of here being different today because today's meeting is different already. So we have to be different. Amen. Amen. We just want to welcome our mommies and our daddies who have just joined us. We bless God for your lives. Thank you for believing in us. We will not disappoint you, we promise. God bless you all. I'm going to call on Sister Love, is Sister Love there? Sister Love for your delay. Sister Love there, please. Yes, I'm here. Over to you for five minutes. Thank you. I'm going to be praying for pastors and ministers. And I'm going to read Jeremiah 3, verse 15. And it says, Then I will give you shepherds after my own heart who will lead you with knowledge and understanding. And I'm also going to read 1 Timothy 1 verse 2. And it says, I then First of all, that petitions authority that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. So let's lift up our voices and pray for the for all the pastors and the ministers. Thank you for Lord, giving us shepherds. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the shepherds you put in our hands. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for our leaders. We thank you for our pastors. We thank you for our everyone that's leading us, our elders, everyone. Father, we pray, oh God, and we ask, oh Lord, that you strengthen them in this time. You strengthen them, you take over their lives, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for wisdom for them. We pray that you grant them wisdom in whatever they do, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your name be glorified even in their lives. Deliver them from the hands of the enemy. In the name let your name be glorified in their lives, O Lord. We pray that I shall lift up your countenance upon them. We pray for provision for our pastors. We pray for provision of God for our leaders in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask, O God, that you make them people after your own heart so they can be able to lead us. Father, let your name be glorified even in their lives in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all the ministers and the pastors. Thank you for giving them your wisdom to be able to lead their people. Thank you, Lord, that you would strengthen them and keep them safe and watch over them, even in this. to you and lead their people in the 
Amen. I think uh, Sister Love. Amen. Hello. Over to you, Minister Naomi. I think she's uh, her internet is not really connecting well there. Yeah. Over to you, Minister Naomi. Thank you, Ma. God bless you, Sister Love, for leading those powerful prayers. The Lord bless you and keep you. And then, of course, His face to shine upon you Amen. and make you an example Amen. for your siblings. That wherever you go, you will stand out. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Thank you all for joining. I just want to remind everyone to make sure your videos are on. If you have the, your virtual background, please put it on so we will all see what is happening. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be different. Amen. I'm going to invite our own brother, Brother Akondo, are you on the line? Yes, ma, I'm on the line. Over to you, sir. It's five minutes for you. Over okay. to you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, let's just begin to thank the Lord for bringing us here today and um, mm -hmm. for helping us to be here. I can go and worship you. You deserve all glory. You deserve all glory. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us here today to lay at the feet. We thank you for every single member in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you, we bless you, we worship you, Lord. We thank you, Father, because we will go back with you today. For in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Okay. Um, in First Peter, um, three verse twelve. Please, can you open your Bibles to First Peter, First Peter, three verse twelve? It, um, it says, "For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and His ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil." Um, so we're going to pray for, pray for forgiveness of our sins. Um, as we pray today, because um, God, uh, this, the prayer of a sinner is an abomination to God. So let us pray for forgiveness of our sins. Amen. Father, Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus this morning, as we all come before you, we present ourselves before you. And Lord, we ask that you give us our iniquities, forgive us our unrighteousness, forgive us our sins, so Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, so that our prayers will attend to you this morning. We plead the precious blood of Jesus over every one of us, that the blood of Jesus is have its own in our life. We will be in our sins and our mercy. In the, name of in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 So the first prayer, um, will, um, the anchor scripture will be Daniel 1, 17 um, and 20. And Daniel 1, 17 says, To these four young men, God gave knowledge and understanding of all kinds of literature and learning. And Daniel could understand visions and dreams of all kinds. That's right. And Daniel 1... 20 it says in every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king questioned them he found them 10 times better than all the magicians and enchanters in the whole kingdom mm -hmm. so we're going to pray father in the name of jesus please grant us the spirit of understanding to excel in our academics in the spirit of excellence for every one of us. Excellent. 
every child that is connected on this platform, every child of women prayer conference, every child, Father Lord, that we are connected with, Father Lord, you give them to the spirit of, of, of excellence, just like did you want to die, bring them understanding, wise, Lord, as you have the children in the name of Jesus, we bring all the children on this platform, children that are connected in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, I you. Let's begin to thank the Lord. Father Lord, I thank you for in Father Jesus' Lord, name. I pray. Amen. Amen. Um, Amen. Our second, our, our second and final prayer. Um, Father, in the name of Jesus, please help every child in this class to respect our elders. It says in Ephesians six, um, verse one to four. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and you may enjoy life on the earth. Mm. And verse 4, it says, Fathers, do not ex ex sorry, experience your children. Instead, bring them up in training and instruction of the Lord. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, please help every child in this class to respect our elders and our parents. And Lord, all the name of Jesus, Father, all the name of Jesus, even those and 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 those we ask the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let your mighty hand rest upon them so that Lord they will be able to respect their elders. Father Lord, everywhere that they find themselves, Father Lord, they will be able to respect the elders. They will be able to respect those who follow in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. Amen. God bless you, Brother Kondo. God bless you so much. We thank God for your life. May the Lord guide your thank path you, of life in the name of Jesus. Amen. So you will be a different child in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What did he say? Thank Children, you. obey your parents. Children, obey your parents. So it shall be well, it shall be well with you. So you will live long. This promise is a very great promise. If you want to live long, obey your mom, obey your dad, obey everyone that is older than you, because this is a great promise. It's a covenant that comes with promise. Yes. It's just a little thing God is asking you to do. He said, obey, and he will give you long life. Mm -hmm. If you want to live long, let us obey our parents. Mm -hmm. God bless you as you do that, mm -hmm. and you will be different. Amen. Amen. I'm going to call Sister Chino. Is Sister Chino on the line? Hello, Ma, can you hear me? I can hear you very well. I think there's a feedback coming. Five minutes for you, please. Okay. Okay, and when let us pray for our youth, we should always know that when a youth has suicidal thoughts or depression, there's always a reason. Maybe it's because of school, stress it could be a particular relationship with a friend or family it could be about anything so let us pray for our youth and children who are struggling to speak about their feelings who hides their thoughts and feelings from others lord let's pray for let's pray for my young people into your hands every one of this platform the grace in the name of Jesus, we pray for the strength for the inner man in the name of Jesus, Father. We pray, oh God, that you protect them from every sickness of the mind, every sickness, psychological. Let you be glorified in the life of the, the young people. We pray, oh God, that you open their minds in the name of Jesus, Father. Deliver them from depression in Jesus, and help them to speak out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Many youth have committed and attempted suicide because they feel alone and worried. Let us pray that for our youth that go through such things and they always have the mind that God is always with them. And love them. Let us pray. 
in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the young people. Lord, we pray for all those who are even having issues and problems in our Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and problems in our home. Lord, we pray for all those who are having issues and with thanksgiving let your request be made soon to god let's pray for you who are worried about the future life who are worried about what's going to happen to them in the future let let them let them know that god is with them and let them have the understanding that they will make it let us pray in jesus name father lord in the name of jesus in the name of jesus father we pray god bring our young people into your hands we pray that you will touch them we pray that you will we ask the Lord in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, your mighty hand will rest upon all our youth, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Our last prayer point is: Let's also pray for any of our youth who are having family problems, because family problems can cause depression and stress. A family should be together and love one another. But there are some families who quarrel nearly every day, which can affect a teen or child in many ways. So let us pray that God will finally grant. Those families peace and solve any difficult situation that has to be solved. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we are praying, oh God, this hour, we just you. Lord, you bring to end every family of the young member of the WPC. We pray, Lord, that your peace shall prevail in every home. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you have your way in the life of every child. We pray that, Lord, you program them protection in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. I say thank you for answer, answer prayers. Thank you, Lord, that we know that you've answered all our prayers for in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Dachino. Thank you for leading those powerful prayers. The Lord will protect and deliver us from suicidal thoughts and depression. If we have any issues, please don't be afraid to tell someone. Don't be afraid to tell mom. Don't be afraid to tell dad. If you can't tell them, you can tell your pastor. Don't allow anything to overwhelm you because Jesus loves you so much and you don't want to harm yourself. God bless you. We thank you all, our parents, for joining us. We thank you for believing in us. Thank you for your support. We are so proud of you and we will not let you down. We will be different from today and you will know that we are different because you will see the traits in us. God bless you all. On this note, we are going to call Sister Debbie. Is the Sister Debbie on the line, please? Yeah, hi, hello. God bless you, Sister Debbie. Over to you, five minutes, please. 
Okay, um, I'm just going to lead us in a short session of um, prayer for divine wisdom. So um, Psalms um, 127 verse 3 says, Behold, children are a heritage, heritage and gift from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. So we're going to thank God for the lives of our children. Thank you, Lord. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you for every child on this platform. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing for us. We thank you, Lord, for making us different even from now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for every one of us. We thank you, God, for the reward of being children to our parents. We bless you for the name of Jesus. It's a good gift for children to us in the name of Jesus. We appreciate you. Thank you, Lord. We uh, magnify the holy name in the mighty name. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' Jesus. name I pray. Amen. Amen. Um, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 7, seven verses 8 says, Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear mm. the Lord with reverence or an obedience and turn entirely away from evil. And Proverbs 19, verse 20 says, Listen to counsel receive instruction and accept correction that you may be wise in the time to come. So we're going to pray that God will give us the grace to accept and receive um, correction and in Jesus' name. So Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray for the grace children. We pray for the grace to accept correction in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for the grace to accept correction that when we are corrected, we will not be wise in our own eyes. All our children, Father, Lord, we pray that Lord in the mighty name of Jesus, we give them grace to accept correction in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we ask the Lord. They will not be in their mind, Father Lord, but they will be in the name of Jesus, Father. Father help, help all the children and correct us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So first Kings um verse three, chapter three, verse nine says, So give your servant an understanding mind and a hearing heart with which to judge your people, so that I may discern between good and evil. For who is able to judge and rule this great people of yours? So we're going to pray that God will give us an understanding mind and a an hearing heart so that we will be able to to discern between good and evil and to choose to do good, to choose to do what is pleasing to God. Let us pray. Every child on this platform, every one of us, Father, we pray for them that stand in mind, understanding in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we see our strength and we shall understand you. Father, Lord, we see you in the name of Jesus. Let us accept anything that is not of you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for hearing our and answering our prayers. The Bible says that you are wisdom. So we pray for anybody that has, has not given their life to Jesus, that if they want to have wisdom and they want to give their life to Jesus, Father, that you will accept them, you will cleanse them, and you will sanctify them, allow them to be your children. Um, and we also pray for every person that is has given their life to Christ, that you will refill them with the with wisdom, uh, refill them with divine wisdom from above that will extend to all areas of our lives so that we'll be good-fearing Christians, so that we'll be able to differentiate between right and wrong and to be able to choose what is pleasing to God. Um, and we pray that our prayers have, will have been answered in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you so much, Sister Debbie. I've learned something. Accept corrections. Amen. My brothers and sisters, accept corrections. If you do something wrong and daddy says this is wrong, accept it and change, accept con uh, corrections. Because if you do not accept corrections, you are not wise. Do you want to be wise? Accept corrections. God bless you all. God bless you. I'm learning a lot from you. I'm learning a lot. Mr. Debbie, God bless you. Thank you so much for leading us. May the Lord enlarge your territory Amen. and give you the grace to prevail Amen. and be different. Amen. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. 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 For this note, I'm going to call upon our second speaker. You've got between five and ten minutes, and I call upon Sister Shama. It's your turn, please. Over Thank to you. you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to today. Um, so my topic is girls and ladies. Um, can you is everyone hearing me? Yeah, yeah. Um, girls and ladies, to be different means to follow the Bible. Um, so I'm just going to talk about that. Um, so we live in a generation that's like heavily influenced by social media and celebrities. So as women, we want to look our best. So we look up to these models, these, these celebrities um, for inspiration so we can copy their style and behave and behavior to fit in with what society deems as right and like the norm. So we'll copy them so that, you know, we don't look too different or we don't want to, you know, look weird to our friends and um, but in actual fact this isn't what God has brought us into the world to do in first John chapter 2 verses 15 it says do not love the world or things in the world if anyone loves the world the love of the father is not in him from this you can see that God is telling us that we shouldn't follow what society is telling us to do and love worldly things worldly things in our generation is like listening to sexual music um wearing provocative clothing and engaging in like illegal activities which is like drinking and smoking um so as women we are more inclined to follow the female artists and celebrities and influencers um and sometimes they'll be wearing provocative clothing and i was thinking that this like as you're scrolling through like for example Instagram um in your mind like subconsciously you'll be like taking in what they're wearing and you might this might persuade you to go and buy you know similar clothing but you really have to ask yourself like would you wear this to church would you even wear it in front of your parents for example in our church like my mum always says to everyone um you know some people have like really ripped jeans that are like just show your whole like all of your legs like she always says to them like if you're going to wear ripped jeans just have like a little cut in your um like in the gene not have all of your genes being ripped um so it's like even little things like that you know my mum's told everyone in our church and no one in our church kind of wears jeans like that anymore um just because just because everyone in the world is doing it doesn't mean that you should do it um so we shouldn't wear like inappropriate clothing especially as women um and we should be an example to our friends and tell them that if they're wearing like short dresses um to be different and wear other types of clothing and it's not just like maybe they should stop wearing dresses for example but like they should wear longer dresses and more appropriate clothing um and explain to them how god doesn't like it because in first timothy chapter 2 verses 9 it says women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel um with modesty and self-control and this means that god is directly instructing instructing us as women to dress appropriately and we should and we should obey god um i feel like our generation is more prone to sin especially if a lot of our friends aren't Christians, they will influence us to get things like tattoos and like piercings and have premarital sex. Um, but we need to stand out and stand our ground and tell our friends that we don't engage with ungodly things because it's not right. Also by doing this, it shows God that we're like being obedient um, and we're standing out and being unique compared to our friends. Uh, but we shouldn't also leave our friends in the dark. So if they're still engaging in these ungodly things, we should encourage them and influence them to be different and show them what it says in the Bible. So in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28, it says, you shall not make any cuts on your body for the dead or to tattoo yourselves. Um, and in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 18 to 20, it says, flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexual immoral person sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were brought in with pride, with the price, sorry. So glorify God in your body. So we shouldn't, we should follow God's instruction by standing out and being different. It's actually okay to be different and unique because God likes that as you're adding value to the world um, not in a lustful way. Um, and in Romans chapter 12, verses two, it says, do not be conformed to the world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God that is good and acceptable and perfect. So lastly, you should you have to come out of this conformity and oppression of the world by doing the worldly things like getting tattoos and heavily drinking and you have to change your heart from like within and renew your mind so that the way you view things 
and the um, and the decisions you make are to the good and accept it, acceptable and perfect will of God, which are based on the scriptures and not to the good and acceptable perfect will of the world. That's the difference and the way that you'll be able to stand out. You will be able to do this by having a personal relationship with God, like doing daily devotion, um, having godly a godly associations, um, going to youth there's like night vigil and there's loads more other things you can do um and by doing these you'll be able to transform yourself in order to be able to stand out and be different from the world so yeah amen, amen. god bless you god bless you god bless you so we have to be different have you picked any nuggets from what sashama said he said we shouldn't wear what everyone wears we should be different. It's not just the ladies, the gentlemen as well. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You don't pull your trousers to your bum. There's there to be different. <laughs> Amen. We are going to, Sashama, God bless you. Thank you so much. We will heed to your advice. The Lord bless you and give you more wisdom yeah. and understanding. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Hallelujah. And we want to say thank you to our mommies and daddies for joining us. Yeah. Thank you so much for believing in us. We will dare to be different from today Amen. because we will not come back the same as you have known us. Amen. We will be different. And that's our promise. Amen. Are we going to promise this, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, ma'am. Give, give us a wave if you promise. Amen. Give us a wave if you promise to be different. I can't see you. Amen. Give us a wave if you want to dare to be different. Amen. God bless you. All. God bless you. We'll be different. We are going to call on Brother Damilola. Is Brother Damilola on the line, please? Damilola. Brother Damilola, are you on the line? Yes, I'm here. God bless you. Over to you, sir. Um, so I want to lead us in a quick prayer um, for our leaders in, in the United Kingdom and then around the world as well. So let's just pray. Father God, I just pray for the leaders in the world right now. I pray that they can have the wisdom and the courage to keep on leading us. I pray that in this current situation, that, um, in the current situation, that they can make the right decision. I pray for wisdom and prosperity for them. I pray that they can be prepared fast and they have the knowledge to do for the country and they can think of the people that they lead. I pray for their families as well. I pray their families enable them to do them what they need to do with them. Jesus mighty name. I just pray for them. I pray that they have the wisdom and the understanding that they can lead forward with your Lord. In the mighty name. Also. I'd also um, like to pray for the people around them, maybe not the prime ministers themselves, but the people and their family, and that they can also help them in the ways to lead the nation as well. And I pray that their families can understand that they are enabling, for example, Boris Johnson to lead the United Kingdom. So let's pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray God for you, Lord, that we come before the nation into your hands. We pray all those leaders helping the leaders, they are advisors, they are chief of the leaders all over the nation. And I love these two children the in the leaders of the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, let them be in the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for praying for our leaders. It is our duty to pray for our leaders. The Lord bless you and make you a good leader to make you a Amen. good leader in the future. Wherever you go, Amen. you will take a stand to be different. So people People look up to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are going to call our sister Abigail. Sister Abigail Bancole, are you there? Sister yeah, Abigail, you. God bless you. Over to you, five minutes, please. Okay. 
Okay, I'll be praying about being different. And it says, as Christians and children of God, we are already different to others as we are not of this world, but we are passing through it. Hallelujah. In First John 2, verse um, 15 to 17, it says, do not love this world, nor the things it offers. For when you love the world, you, don't, you do not love the Father in you. For the world offers only craving for physical pleasure and craving for everything else we see and our pride in our achievements and possessions. These are not from the Father, but they're from the world. And this world is fading away along with everything and that people crave. But everyone who does what pleases will live forever. It's just saying that as we're not from this world, we should not act like everyone else in this world because that's not going to take us to heaven. And we just pray, Lord, as you just um, just open our eyes to just see what you want us to see, that you just take us away from any of those worldly things, Lord, that we just pray, Lord, you just continue to just um, let us not be a part of this world that we just uh, that you just make our children different in the name of make them different according to what you have seen in the name of Jesus oh God we make our children different in the name of Jesus, let our children be different. Let them be different, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Our children will remain different. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we ask the Lord in the name of Jesus. Our children will be different. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Um, we also just want to say that um as we should not participate of the things in this world lord that we should just pray lord you just continue to just show us show your word to us lord that as we continue to read the bible it will just show every direction you want us to lead as we are growing in your maturity and want us to grow lord as good christians so we can make it in heaven one day lord i mean just want to um say from romans 5 verse 8 8. But God showed his great love to us by sending Christ to die for us while we are still sinners. And it's just saying as we're still sinners, Lord, that we just want to thank you for just bringing us only son to die for us, Lord. And we just pray on that, Lord, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I will not live for the love of you, Lord, and you are like your glory, Lord. We love you. Glorify your name and everything in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I will just be loving people, Lord, that you can be my grace upon us. Glorify your name to be in life to your people. Father, every one of us, every one of us, Lord, that you continue to. I'm just going to pray, Lord, from Philippians 4, verse 13, that it says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And it's just saying that if we believe God can do everything for us, Lord, that we just pray, Lord, he continues to strengthen us every day as we're doing anything that he wants us to do, Lord, that in every we in our schoolwork, in our homework, in our home, anything that we do at home, that we just pray you continue to strengthen us, Lord, as we believe in you. In the name of Jesus, we answer. Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, Lord. We can do all things to you, Christ, who is strengthening us. We just be strengthened in this world, Lord, in every way that you're loved for us, Lord. Lord to in the mighty name of Jesus, help us, Lord. So that we and my final verse, Lord, that we just want to pray from Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. It says, For you are a holy people, you belong to the Lord your God. Of all the people on earth, the Lord your God has chosen you to be his special treasure. And we just want to thank you for this, Lord, as you've just chosen each and every of us, Lord, that's made 
different, Lord, that you continue to just show us that you are a treasure, Lord, of how much you love us, Lord, and we love you too, Lord. Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you, Sister Abigail. Amen. God bless you. You are God's special treasure. Amen. We are God's special treasure. Amen. Have you picked the nuggets from what Sister Abigail led us through? You are God's special treasure. Don't let anyone tell you. God himself is telling you that you are his special treasure. Amen. It's a big God bless you. Thank you so much for leading us. We have learned a lot today. Have we all learned something today? Yes. You ma'am. can't tell me you've not picked anything today because we've learned a lot. We've learned a lot, and we are going to demonstrate it by you. Yes, Amen. we are. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. We are going to call our brother, Brother Jeremiah. Are you on the line? Brother Jeremiah, are you on the line? Yeah, I'm here. Over to you, sir. As Christians, we are called to be different or set apart. Romans 12 verse 2 says, Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renew of your mind, that you may prove what is that and good and accepted and perfect in, in the will of God. Amen. We will now pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that all our children, Father Lord, will not be conformed to this water. Father Lord, by your hand, by your strength, and you will renew their minds and you will transform their minds in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we ask the Lord, let your mind rest upon them. Let their minds be stayed in the name of Jesus. Commit all our children into your hand. Father Lord, their minds will not be but I want to pray for all these children, all the children on this platform, all the children in the Women Prayer Congress, all the children in our churches, all our biological children. Father, Lord, that their minds will be stirred on you in the name of Jesus. Let their minds be stirred on you, Lord. They will not conform to the things of this. Father, Lord, help them. Father, Lord, help them in the name of Jesus. Let your mighty hand rest upon them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Now, now we will pray for all the nations of the world that they will live in peace and happiness and safety. Amen. Father, we commit the nations of the world into your hand. We bring the nations of the world into your hand. Father, Lord, we intervene in the affairs of the nations. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, you will touch, Father, Lord, nations. Father, Lord, we ask the Lord, you will restore peace back unto nations. You will restore your peace back unto nations in the name of Jesus. Let your peace, Father, Lord, be restored back unto nations, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let your peace reign over nations. Father, Lord, let nations live in harmony in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And now we pray for COVID 19 and that Jesus will wipe it from the face of the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we commit this pandemic called COVID, this disaster called COVID-19, the mutation variant, Father Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus, you will wipe it away, Lord, even as your son is presenting it. Father Lord, you will hear the cry of these children. These children have made our time, Lord, come and see your face. Father, we ask the Lord, you will wipe away COVID-19. We ask the Lord, by your mercy, you will hear the voice of the children. You will hear their voice, Lord. You will have mercy, Lord. You will wipe away COVID-19 from the face of the earth. Father, Lord, even as these children, we join them, Father, Lord, in their faith and present our petitions unto you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praised. Amen. 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 Amen.
Let today's meeting make our lives different. Amen. Amen. Father, we commit Father, to all the children on this platform, our biological children, our spiritual children, all the children in the women prayer campus in our churches, the children that we are connected with. Father, Lord, by the reason of today's meeting, we ask the Lord you will touch them. We ask the Lord in the name of Jesus that their life will become different, that they will change. Father, Lord, any child, Father, Lord, that is experiencing uh, difficulties in whatever Way, Father Lord, you will touch them, you will change them. Jesus' mighty name, Amen. 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 God bless you, Brother Jeremiah. Hallelujah. The Lord can give you more courage to do His work. Amen. Hallelujah. We Amen. say, say, we should be different. We have to renew our minds. We have to renew our minds and be different. Hmm. Hallelujah. God bless you all for joining all those who have just joined us, our mommies and our daddies. We thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you so much. We promise that we will not come back home the same as we left home today. We are not going to come back the same because we are going to there to be different. Amen. What did Hazel tell us this morning? Hazel said you should be worried when you are not different. Amen. When you are doing something with everyone else, you have to be worried. Mm. But if you are different, that is what you should be, be very proud of, that you are different. Amen. The Lord Amen. bless you. Bless you, Brother Jeremiah. In Jesus' name. We call upon Sister Annie. Is Sister Annie here, please? Yes. Sister Annie, over to you. Can you mute yourself, please? Yeah, I think I'm unmuted. Um, today we're praying for fathers, oh God, so we pray for, we thank you for their protection and provision over them, oh Lord, let us pray that we will, that you will continue to protect and provide for them, Lord, in this time, let us pray. In the name of Jesus. Fathers, Lord, in the name of Jesus. All of our fathers, we call them. We ask for your protection, we ask for your protection, we ask for your lives, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. As we take all fathers into your hands, Father Lord, let there be provision. Make provision for them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, as we take all fathers into your hands, Father Lord, let there be provision. Make provision for them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, as we take all fathers into your hands, Father Lord, let there be for our fathers and um, as it reads in Ephesians 6 verse 4 that Lord they will continue to raise us <clears throat> in loving discipline and counsel mm -hmm. and from you oh God let us pray Father Lord, we ask the Lord in the name of Jesus. Oh God, give them the cancer to be able to bless us our children in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Father Lord, we pray that you will continue to keep and bless them in this time of COVID. Some of them are still going out to work, oh God, Lord, that you will just cover them in the blood of Jesus. Let us pray, Amen. Lord. Father Lord, Amen. so all our fathers in the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, we soak them in the blood of Jesus. Wherever they are, we soak them in the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, you will keep, Father Lord, you will be exempted. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus, let the covenant of exemption, let it walk. Father, in the name of Jesus, they will not be infected, they will not be impacted by COVID 19. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank, you. Thank you so much, Sister Annie. God bless you for leading us. God bless you so much. May the Lord empower you, may the Lord lead you in the path Amen. of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I hope you are all enjoying the program. Yes. I hope we are all writing down what we are learning today. Because when we don't write it down, we will forget. These are little nuggets we picked today. We have learned a lot. 
And when we go, we'll go and look through the notes and read every Bible verse that's given to us. Amen. On this note, I want to call upon our third speaker. We'll be, we'll be finishing soon. So please stay put. Let's learn from each other because our children are teaching us so much today. You cannot imagine all what they are teaching us. We are learning from them and they are also learning from us. Amen. I call on Brother Seth. Brother Seth Maloba, are you here? Yes, I'm here. All right, over yes. to you. Um, hello, and the topic I'll be talking about is standing out of sin. And the verse I'll be talking about is John 15, verse 19. It says, if you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. You do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of this world. In our generation, sin is around us and has been deemed as normal as you get older you will, you will receive a lot of peer pressure from your friends but the bible teaches you that we belong to the world and we belong out of this world and god has given every single one of us free will free will means we have a choice of whether we want to choose the good side or the bad side and mm. it's have to either choose sin or god choosing the choosing being loved by the world god you don't show your love for god anymore which means that you've your relationship with God has ended. And I believe that is not the right choice and keeping your relationship with God strong is much more loved by this world. Amen. I, when you stand out of sin, you aren't boring. A lot of people may see you, or see you or perceive you or your friends may see you as boring or not having fun. But this just shows that you have a strong free will and that you have a close connection with God. And when your connection with God is so strong that you can make your own choice, that is much more, but much more cooler than people who can't make their own choices and get led by other people. That's right. The Bible tells you you are the head and not the tail. So by following others, this would mean that you are the tail. And that's not what God wants from us. God wants us to be at the top and be the head. And we should be leading people and teaching people and, to, and bring them to God as we are his children and we are his servants. Mm. And we are his servants. And we should be helping people come to God whilst instead of people bringing us to sin, mm. as this isn't the right, mm. right choice. Things like drugs also will also, sin includes things like drugs, alcohol, etc. God doesn't just teach us to say, don't do sin, don't do these things, because he just doesn't want us to do these things. Mm -hmm. They also have prob they will also affect you badly in your mental state and your physical state. Mm -hmm. Things like drugs will shorten down your lifespan and affect you really badly, leading to mental health problems and leading to bad relationships right. with people because you cannot control That's yourself. Right. When you stand from away from sin, it makes you much more cooler and much more mm -hmm. impressive as it shows, shows you have a strong role and a strong relationship mm. with your God. Also, remember to choose the right people to influence you positively. That's right. As the friends you have play a massive part in your decisions and the choices you make. Mm. Having good friends with good morals will help you rather than destroy you. And that becomes a massive part of you because it says that apparently 50% um, of your friends impact you, um, impact the way you act and the way you live your life. Make sure that the friends you have, the ones who should be trying to help you take you to the top and have good morals with you instead of bringing you down because your, your friend can also be your worst enemy. That's right. A, a lot of simple things can turn to addictions mm. and it ends it ends up to leading you not be able to control this. At first, it may be seen as fun and enjoyable, but months, maybe even years later, you won't be able to control yourself. Mm. That's why I listen to God because God wants great things from you. God doesn't want you to get these addictions, get these problems where you don't know how to control yourself anymore. God, God wants to stop you from reaching that point. God wants to tell what God is telling us from the laws and the, the books and the commandments he's giving us. He's giving us a free path into living your best life and living a life where you have no harm to yourself and living your life to the fullest. So why would God want bad things to happen for you? God is teaching you to go away from these simple things and, live in a, and to live a great life. So follow these rules and follow these commandments and laws. God wants great things from you and in your life and tells us not to sin and not... And, it's much more easier said than done. Saying don't sin means means reading your Bible, reading the thing, and become having a closer connection to God will make will give you a stronger, which will give you a stronger will from standing away from sin. Mm. If you don't have a strong relationship with God, you will easily be easily persuaded. So make sure you have your relationship with God. Take time out your day to pray and talk to God because mm. this will make this will definitely help you stay away from sin. Mm. Thank you. Amen. 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 God bless you, brother. Said, you. did you all hear that? Yes, ma'am. We all hear that. Amen. Brother yes. said, choose the right friends. 
So if you are in any relationship and moment that says, no, this is not good for you, they know what they are talking about. Choose the right friends. So don't say, oh, mom, they are my friends. So you go with it. No. If that says no, it's no. So we have to also see reasons with what they say. He said 50% of your friends impact you. That's right. 50% of your friends impact you. Your friends could be your worst enemies. Hmm. Did we all hear that? Yes. Please, yes. let's pray about our friends and let the Lord lead us about who should be our friend and who shouldn't be our friend because we have a whole life ahead of us. Brother I said, God bless you. The Lord give you more wisdom. So when you speak to us, we will understand and hear what you've said. I've picked a lot from today. I don't know about you, but I've learned a lot. We are going on our next mission. Amen. And we are going to call on Brother that's how Lou. Is that right? David. Brother David. That's how Lou. Brother David, are you there? Brother Hello? David, it's your turn, sir. Five minutes. Um, so hello. Um due to the theme, I thought it would be um appropriate to talk about um what goes along with trying to be different yes. and uh, one thing that goes along with it a lot is we're doing a lot we're of fear involved to in trying case, to be different on a case-by-case so, um, basis and the bible actually mentions to fear not 365 times in the bible which is one for every day of the year and um in first peter 3 verse 14 it says do not fear what they fear so um my first prayer point is just that in an attempt to be different that we just you know, we just, we don't have a feared approach to it, but we go in with confidence. So can we just pray for confidence and not fear? In the name of Jesus. In our lives, in the name of Jesus. Every one of us has the confidence. Give us the confidence we need in whatever we in the name of Jesus. With confidence in the name of Jesus, we eliminate the spirit of fear and we said no to the spirit of fear. You will not rule over us in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us the spirit of boldness. We receive boldness. We receive boldness. We receive boldness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, my next prayer point is um, to pray for guidance. Um, a lot of the times that we need to sh show our difference in society, things, especially as young people, is things such as schools, college, university. So I just pray for guidance in our educational uh, institutes and that we're guided by God. So could we just begin to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we pray for guidance. Guide us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, guide us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. All our education, we bring all the children who go to education, those who have to make plans to go to university. Lord, we pray, O God, that you take control of their lives in the name of Jesus. Pray that lead them to plan in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, have your way, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, have your way. In Jesus' name, have your way, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Jesus, amen. amen. Um, the next prayer point, as um, uh, Seth mentioned, actually, one of my prayer points was to have uh, like minded friendship groups, um, so that we are. Uh, not instead of so then we are hanging around people that encourage our faith and people that encourage our difference instead of people that are trying to deter us from being the difference so yes. could we just pray for like-minded friendship please Father Lord, we pray. We, we, pray, we, pray, we, pray, we, pray we pray for all our friends. The lives of our children. We pray for 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 our children. We pray
that is not no, good, that we influence our children in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we cut it up in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm. In the name of Jesus. Mama. In the mighty name of Jesus, friends, in the mighty name of Jesus, have your will, Lord, in Jesus' name, Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. And uh, my last prayer point is um, uh, the catalyst that would um, help us into being the difference, which is you know growing a relationship with God. Um, these are things that we can't do on our own. And we do need the power of God to help us um, to be the difference and to really take that step of faith into trusting him. So let's just pray for a strong relationship with God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray, oh God, before we'll be different, we need a relationship with you. So, Father, we ask, oh God, that you help us to have a good relationship with you. In the name of Jesus, help us, Father. Deliver us, O oh God, from our friends. Deliver us, Lord. Let us learn to love you in whatever we do. In the mighty name of Jesus, glorify your name, Lord, in our lives. Glorify your name in our lives, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, let it be your name. 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 Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank God you. bless you, Brother David. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you. We have learned a lot and we are still learning. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. And make, give you the best friends, the friends that will lead you right into your destiny. In Jesus' name. So do I pray for every one of us that we will not choose bad friends. We will not choose our enemies as our friends. As we go out, wherever we go, God will give us good friends. Friends that will lead us to good pastures. Friends, that will lead us to, to, to the throne room of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother David says something I wrote down that I picked. He said, instead of fear, we should have confidence. That's what the Bible says. He said we should not be afraid. He has given us a spirit of boldness, not the spirit of fear. So don't be afraid. The Lord is always with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Is Sister Precious there? Sister Precious. Um, it's your turn, please. Five you. minutes. Thank you. So in Hebrews 4, 16, it says, so let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God, that there will be that we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. And so we'll pray that God will have mercy and stop COVID in the nations and the nations all over the world. So let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray for this one. Pandemic all over the nations of the world in the name of Jesus. And we pray for the pandemic to be eradicated in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the pandemic to be eradicated in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we know that there is nothing that you cannot do. We are in the name of Jesus. Protect the nations, oh Lord. Protect the nations, Father, we pray for the pandemic to be eradicated. And then my next point is that COVID will not have an impact over us. Um, we shall be covered by this illness and God shall have favor over us and, and our whole families. And it says in Lamentations 3, 22, 23, it says, the steadfast, the, set, the steadfast love of God never ceases and his mercies endureth forever. Um, and it is new every morning and it is great in his faithfulness. So we'll just pray over our family and our household. So in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, this morning, this afternoon, in the name of Jesus, we pray, God, have your steadfast love for us, as you said, it does not seem, Lord, we know that great is your faithfulness. We ask that your power that you will over us. Let your love and love our family, every family member on this platform, those who are here, those who are not here, Father, we pray for your total covering. 
over our lives in the name of Jesus. Take over, Lord. Glorify your name in our lives. Let your love surround us. Let your favor surround us. In the name of Jesus. We are exalted, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We in the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Precious. Thank you so much. God bless you. The Lord enlarge your territory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for leading these prayers in the name of Jesus. It's true. The, stead the steadfast love of the Lord does not cease. His faithfulness are always new every morning. Great is his faithfulness indeed. We love the Lord because he first loved us. God bless you so much for leading us. I just want to welcome you all those who have just joined us. We are having a good time here. We thank you, our mommies and daddies, those who have taken their time to come and support us. We are very grateful. We know that by the time we finish this program, we promise you that we would be different because we will prove that we are different from today. We have learned a lot. Thank you for believing in us and we'll make you proud in Jesus' name, amen. On this note, I want to call Sister Jumi. Is Sister Jumi on the platform, please? Sister uh, Jumi, yeah, I'm here. over to you, man. five minutes. As Christians, we should be different and should not let our friends persuade us to do things that would not please the Lord. I pray that you will lead us to five friends who will encourage us to do things that will please God. The Bible says in Leviticus 19, in verse 18, that we should can we see your Love face, Annette, Sister Jumi? Can you put your camera on, please? Brother Innocent, can you focus on her, please? Put your camera Sister on. Sister Jumi, please put your camera on. Thank you. Go on then, Sister Jimmy. Uh, and that we should not let our friends persuade us to do things that are not right and will not please God. And that we should love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Love your neighbor, you will not want to fight. <laughs> and that we should encourage the people around us to do right by God. And encourage them to follow the will of the Lord. Sorry, Sajimi. Uh, the camera's on. Is it stopped? That's better. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that we should encourage the people around us to follow the will of the Lord. Father, we just want to say thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for God. And that we call you the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, Lord, to follow your ways. Father, Lord, that we be leading. Father, Lord, that we be the salt of the world. Father, Lord, that we be the salt of the world. Father, Lord, that we be the salt of the world. Father, Lord, that we not be misled. In the mighty name of Jesus, every one of us, thank you, Lord, that we follow you right now. Every one from the pit of hell, Father, Lord. Father, Lord, that we not be misled. Help them to shoot their proper friends that they may do God for their destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Jimmy. Thank you so, so much. God bless you for that. Amen. 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 Sister Jimmy, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We are going to our next person. And it's in the name of Sister Helen. Sister Helen, over to you. Five minutes, please. Sister what Helen, have you got for us today? Is Sister Helen there? She's doing the preaching, one of our speakers. Yeah, it's one of our speakers, Sister Helen Ajayi. Amen. Yes. Uh, yeah. First of all, thank you so much for um, inviting me here to, to speak. It's it's a privilege already i've been so blessed and i can't wait for what else god has in store 
today. So it's okay to be different. When that topic came to mind, the first question I had to ask myself is, is it boring being a Christian? It's possible at times for us to feel that there are a lot of like restrictions and limitations placed by the parameters that we have as believers. And sometimes we see our peers who are living outside of the faith um, who are free to explore and engage in whatever they please. And um, it's easy for us to feel like we're missing out. Um, I'll never forget when I was younger, um, I live in a cul-de-sac. It's also known as like a dead end street. And my parents only allowed me to play within the parameters of the cul-de-sac. And um, I remember one day my neighbor came, she knocked on my door and she said, Helen, we are leaving the cul-de-sac. Would you like to follow us? Um, and I asked my dad and immediately he said no. no. And I remember in that moment, I was, <laughs> I was really upset. I thought he was being mean. I thought he was being unnecessary. I thought that he genuinely did not want me to enjoy my childhood. Um, and it's easy for us to, to feel that way when we think of the parameters that are set around us as believers. For example, there's certain TV shows that we can and cannot watch. There's certain places that we can and cannot go. There's certain activities that we can and cannot do. And it's easy for us to feel like God is being unnecessary. It's easy for us to feel that God does not want us to have as much fun as um, people who are living outside of the faith. However, it's now that I look back, um, I'm able to understand why my dad said no at the time. Outside of the cul-de-sac, the speed limit increases and cars drive a lot faster. Outside of the cul-de-sac, because of the positioning of my house, my dad is unable to supervise me. He can't see what is happening if I play on the streets. I'm able to see that in that moment, he did that from a place of love. He did that because he cares for me, because he, he wants me to remain safe. And it's the same with God. The reason why we have boundaries and parameters is not because he does not love us, but it's because he loves us so much. He does not want us to become separated from him. Now, when I think about the first um, kind of boundary that was set upon us as believers, um, I don't have to go far because we find it in Genesis. And it forms of pressure can make it difficult for us to want to and remain within those parameters. And we can see this in the book of Genesis. So if we just go to Genesis 3, um, verse 1 to 5, um, I'll just quickly read through. So the serpent was the shrewdest of all the wild animals the Lord had made. One day he asked the women, did God really say you must not eat um, from the fruit of any of the trees in the garden? Of course we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, the woman replied, it's only the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden that we are allowed, to, we are not allowed to eat. God said, you must not eat it or even touch it. If you do so, you will die. The serpent replies, you won't die. God knows that your eyes will be open as soon as you eat it and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Now, at times we can succumb to peer pressure and I, and I call this a form of pressure that the, um, the serpent has applied pressure on Eve to go against the parameter that God has set. And at times we can succumb to and um, prayer pressure for multiple reasons, but I'm gonna just touch upon two. Um, one, when we have lost sight of God's identity and his heart, we can succumb to peer pressure. Yeah. The serpent says, this goes against what God has said. So the serpent is calling God a liar. If Adam and Eve were so assured in God's identity that he is a God that he does not lie, he is not a man that he should um, change his mind. If Adam and Eve were so assured in God's identity, they would not have believed the enemy in the enemy saying that God is a liar, you will not die if you eat of this fruit. Secondly, we can succumb to peer pressure when we have lost sight of our identity in Christ. The serpent says in verse five, God knows that your eyes will be open as soon as you eat it and you'll be more like him, know both good and evil. If Adam and Eve were assured of their identity in Christ, they would have known that they are made already in the image and the likeness of God. They were already like God, as we can see in Genesis 1, 26, that they did not need to be more like him because they are already like him. So God sets those, God had set those parameters for Adam and Eve because he loves them. 
and because he knew that the action, the consequences of their action would not only affect them, but would affect us. Like we're all living in the consequences of Adam and Eve. And the consequence meant that they were unable to walk closely with God. I think about parameters that are set in my life, for example, certain TV shows that um, I'm not comfortable watching. And for me, uncomfortability and lack of peace is how I know God is saying, no, I do not permit you from doing this. And the reason why God has set those parameters in my life is because he knows if I watch these TV shows, shows anger and hatred will be harbored in my heart. I'll begin to envy, I'll begin to lust. And those, those things festering within me can cause me to become separated from God. And that is the last thing that God wants from us is to be separated from him. Now it's okay to be different, but it depends on what your definition of different is. Mm. If you think different means to be weird, to be boring, to be abnormal, then you might not be comfortable with being different. But if you see different as being set apart from the world and set onto God, then maybe you are able to embrace this a little bit more. We are called to be bright lights in such a dark world. The different we have been called to be is a generation that encourages one another, not brings one another down. A generation of world record breaking, a generation of the supernatural. When I think of what is normal, for example, if your peer came up to you and said, I have a headache, and you said, let me lay my hands on you and command that headache to leave. And then you see that headache leave. According to the world, that is not normal. Healing is not normal. Casting demons out is not normal. But we are not called to abide what's normal by the world's standards. But we are called to, to abide by what's normal in heavenly standards. And healing, That's healing right. is, is the norm. We should be seeing healing like this every single day because that, that's normal in the kingdom of in the kingdom of heaven. We have been called to be a generation that exceeds that has which that in which has been achieved by our parents and their parents. To be the same as everyone else is to conform, is to set limits on yourself, is to achieve that which has already been done. I don't know about you, but I want to stand out for excellence because I know God has not called me to be mediocre, but he has called me to be extraordinary. So I just pray in this moment that God will reveal his identity to us, that he is a God that he sets these boundaries and parameters, not because he hates us, not because he does not want us to have fun and do things that make us happy, but because he loves us so much that he does not want us to be separated from him. And I pray that God will reveal to us our identity in God to remind us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, that we are um, a peculiar people, a chosen generation, that we are kings and queens, that we can walk with such confidence and boldness that we don't have to have, you know, flashy clothes. We don't have to have things that the world deems as um, extraordinary, but we abide and we walk in what we've already been called. So I just pray this over us. And yes, thank you so much for allowing me to, to speak. This Amen. Song. Hallelujah. Minister Naomi, unmute yourself, please. Sorry, God bless you, Sister God bless you. We've learned a lot from you today. God bless you. It's really okay to be different. I have put a lot of things down. I've put so much down, but then I'll pick two things. The silence said we are fearfully and wonderfully made. That's what the Bible says, and we are chosen. Amen. Amen. No one should be telling you this. You should always say to yourself, I am fearfully and wonderfully made, and that's who we are. Please, if your video is not on, please put it on. If your virtual background is not on, please put it on. God bless you all. God bless you. Silent. The Lord bless you and give you more wisdom in Jesus' name. Amen. I still want to welcome all of you onto this platform. Those who have just joined, we say the Lord bless you. We have learned a lot. We have learned a lot. I know you've also started learning because the Lord is really teaching us through our children. Amen. Now, I'm going to call on our main speaker for today. I'm going to call on our main speaker for today. And his name is Pastor 
Nestor Field Lopez. Last year, we learned a lot. So we are all here, sir. We are all here to finish the started work. Amen. Amen. <laughs> good, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a privilege. It's a privilege to be here, uh, guys. You have done amazing. You, everybody has done amazing. Uh, we can we can actually go home now. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you know, uh, and, and you know, for, for from everybody, from the youngest to the oldest, those ministered guys, you've done a fantastic job. Um, my 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 little darling Hazel, uh, Hazel, you're amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> uh, we have to be different, my dear. We simply have to be different, my dear. And you you summed it up well. Everybody has. Um, I wanna I wanna thank our mommy uh, Eunice. Uh, for putting together uh, uh, this spectacular event. Uh, I, I, I love Reverend Eunice so much. Uh, she's like my, biologi my, my, my biological mother, really. You know, she's my spiritual mom, but she's like my biological mom. She keeps it real with me. She, she keeps it real. She keeps it street with me. She tells me how it is, and I love that. You know what I mean? I, I appreciate that. One, one of our speakers, Sister Debbie, speak, spoke about correction. And uh, that's what Pastor Eunice is to me. She corrects me and I, I welcome my correction every single time. I, I love her so much. I love her so much. She's amazing. Uh, guys, I won't be long today, by the grace of God, because um, we have to be mindful of time. Uh, uh, I just want us to go to our, our, our anchor scripture for the program, uh, which is uh, First uh, Peter chapter 2, verse 9, real quick. Um, I, I won't be long. I try my best not to be long, I promise. And and um, uh, let me a sec, let me get there. First Peter, uh, chapter two, uh, verse nine, and it, it says, "I'm reading from New King James Version, guy, but you can follow whichever version uh, that you have." It says, "But you are a, you are a chosen generation, Hallelujah. a royal priesthood, a holy nation, yeah. his own special people, mm -hmm. that you may proclaim the praises of Him who called you." out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. That's who we are. That's who we all are. That's who we all are. Amen. Royalty, royalty, priest, it simply means we are constantly in God's Amen. presence. Amen. That's who we are. So, so in this moment, I hope everybody's cameras are on. I want us to do an exercise. I want us to do a little exercise in this moment. I want us to pat ourselves on our chest. Just pat yourselves on your chest. And I want you to say, I am royalty. Proclaim over you. I am royalty. I am royalty. Let's do it three times. I am royalty. I am royalty. I am royalty. I am royalty. In the name of God. Amen. Don't forget that. Don't ever forget that. Come with me. Come with me quickly to Titus. Titus chapter 2, uh, verse 11 and 12. Titus chapter 2, verse 11 and 12. Titus chapter 2, verse 11 and 12. Um, and it says, For the grace of God that brings salvation as appeared to all, all men, Amen. teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age. Let me get the NIV version. I like the NIV version more. I like the NIV version more. It says, it says let me find it. Uh, For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. This is my favorite part now. It teaches us to say no. He teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions mm. and to live self-controlled, self mm. upright, and godly lives in this present age. Mm. Now, when Reverend Eunice, when Mommy Eunice sent me the flyer to this program, I, 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 I jumped with joy. Because if there's anything that Pastor Lopez is known for, is I teach people to be different. Hallelujah. Uh, it, it's, it's important, listen... You're looking at somebody that 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 spent 
10, 12 years of my life trying to be normal, trying to be light. Every every scar on my body, uh, every every time I've been, listen, I've been arrested up and down this country. Mm -hmm. I've been arrested up and down in this country. I, I've been stabbed. I've been shot. I've been hit over the head. Hey, you name it, it's, been, it's happened to me. Mm -hmm. All in the name of trying to be light, mm -hmm. trying to be normal, trying to be accepted. Uh, being different is, is, is what we're all about. We don't have to follow the crowd. We are royalty. We are royalty. Mm -hmm. uh, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you think you'd go to Sainsbury's and see uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth or, or see Prince William? You, 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 you will never see them in, you never see them in your local Aldi. You'll never see them in, even in your waitress. Why? Because they are royalty. They don't need to, to they, they, they are different. They are protocols uh, 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 to royalty. It's like our sister, our sister just said, uh, our sister Helen just said, they are perimeters. They're perimeters uh, uh, that we have to, we have to follow. God has set perimeters to protect us. Uh, and, and and our 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 sister Shama, she she spoke about. Uh, I'm glad she spoke about girls. I'm glad she spoke about ladies, because we we as 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 ladies in the body of Christ, we have to live up to a certain criteria. We have to we have to we have to we have to, we have to dress differently. We have to walk differently. Not what uh, Instagram suggests. Not what uh, TikTok suggests. We 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 simply have to live uh, a different life. We are children of God. We we have His glory around us. We we walk with His protection. We are not normal. We are not empty shells walking around. So we, we have to live a different life. So it's good to be different. It's okay to be different. Let's, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yeah, it is safer. I feel. I. Feel Feel a lot safer in the body of Christ. I don't have to walk around with a knife or walk around with a gun. I walk around with this. This is my gun. Look, 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 look. This is my gun, the Holy Bible. This is my knife, the Holy Bible. I I I I could go to sleep at night now. I don't go to sleep when it when it's five o'clock anymore. That's when I used to go to sleep when the sun comes up. I don't go to sleep when the sun comes up anymore. I go to sleep at the normal time. Look, I got my I got my two ninjas with me this morning. They don't have to worry if daddy's gonna go to jail anymore. They don't mm -hmm. have to worry. The police are coming and knocking on my door at four o'clock in the morning, arresting me. Oh, you we're arresting you on the suspicion of murder, suspicion of whatever. It, it, it's 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 uh, I'm in the body of Christ now. I feel free. The burden, the yoke is gone. It, it's good to be different. It's 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 great uh, not to go to a nightclub anymore and have to worry about anything I, 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 the lowest point I share this with you guys my lowest point was when they came to my mom's house and they shut up my mom's house that's the lowest point I cried like a baby because I brought foolishness to my mother's house they was mm -hmm. they were shooting bullets through my mother's windows I was crying out telling everybody in the house get flat on your belly that's my lowest point why because I wanted to be light I wanted to be normal I wanted to fit in no 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 we're not called to fit in we're not called to be normal we are called to be different Hallelujah. we are called to be royal we are royalty uh, the Bible says that darkness and light has no business we have no business with darkness we have no business with TikTok or Instagram our business is the kingdom. Our business is God. Our business is bringing light to people. In the sister just said, it is not normal to lay your hands and heal somebody. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Because we are not normal. We are different. We are special. We are a holy nation. We are a royal priesthood. Oh, yes. It is good to be different. Let's not worry about being normal. Let's not worry about going to a club. Let's not worry about drinking alcohol. Let's drink the Holy Spirit. Let's drink the Holy Spirit. We don't have to drink rum or drink brandy. We don't have to drink whiskey. We can drink the word of God Almighty and we'll get the power that we're looking for. Oh, yes. Amen. Praise God. Come with me. Come with me quickly to to uh, uh, First Samuel, First Samuel chapter 16. Come on. First, first Samuel chapter 16. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. And we're going to go, I think we're going to go from, we're just going to read, um, um, we're just going to read verse 10. Mm. We're just going to read verse 10. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 10. Mm. And, and it, it says, it says, thus Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel. 
And Samuel said to Jesse, the Lord has not chosen these. And Samuel said to Jesse, are all the young men here? Then he said, there remains yet the youngest. And there he is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, send and bring him, for we will not sit till he comes here. You see, David wasn't worried about no party. Samuel came to keep party. Hmm. They came to kill sheep and to, to give to, to make big spread and to drink and to celebrate. But David wasn't interested. David was, you see, my mother used to tell me as a little youth, yeah? My mother used to tell me as a child, it's not everything you should be involved in. David wasn't involved in anything. He wasn't, he wasn't pushing himself forward to be involved. He was doing what he was meant to do. He was serving the sheep and, and killing lions and killing, and killing bears. It is not everything that we should be involved in because mm -hmm. we're not normal. So when our friends say, come, let's have a Corona party. Let's have a lockdown party. You say, no, 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 baby. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'll be reading my That's Bible right. tonight. Hallelujah. I'll be reading my That's Bible right. tonight. When they say that let's go and party, you're going to say, no, 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 I'm not going to party. I've got my dissertation to write. I need to get that degree. I need to get that qualification. I don't need to. I don't want you to like me. You don't have to like me because I'm, because I'm not going to party. You, I don't need your approval. The only Amen. approval I need is from God Almighty. Can you get me salvation, my friend? No, you can't. The only oh. person that can get me salvation is Jesus Christ. So the only person I care about is Jesus Christ. Christ. So you can keep your opinion to yourself. Yes. I will serve my God Almighty. Okay. I will be different. I will be different. I don't need to. I don't need to follow you to for you to like me. I don't need to to, to, to do what you say uh, because I want you to accept me. No, no. God accepts me, and that's good enough for me. As long as Jesus Christ accepts me, oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need to come and drink with you. I don't need to come and party with you. I don't need to come and sleep with girls or sleep with boys so oh, yes. you can like me. No, no. I will sleep with my Bible. That's what I will sleep with. I will meditate on the Word of God. I will drink the Holy Spirit. That's what I will drink. Oh, yes. Praise God. You see, John, John 14, uh, verse 6 says, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. You only go through the Father except through me. Oh, let's welcome Jesus in our lives. We don't need to be normal. We don't need to be normal. Jesus is the way, baby. Whether the world accept him or not, Jesus is the way. I told the church the other day. Let me tell you guys this. Jesus' name is the most hollered name in this world. Like, you know why? If you have a car accident, you call out Jesus. If you cross the road and something happens, you call Jesus. If anything happens in our lives, we call Jesus because he's the master. And these people that they say they don't believe in God, they're fooling themselves because they call on Jesus more than you who believe in him. Believe you me, Jesus is the way. He is the truth and he is the life. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters, you better believe that. So don't worry about being different. Being different is keeping the time. Forget TikTok. TikTok with all their challenges and this and that and that. Let's do a, let's do a challenge right now. Let's do a challenge as a today let's do a follow jesus challenge let's go on your tiktok let's go on instagram and let's do a follow jesus campaign how about that let's do a follow jesus challenge forget silhouette challenge forget uh, what the next one name I don't even remember. Forget all them challenges. Let's do, let's do a follow Jesus challenge. Let's do a follow Jesus challenge. Let's go on our Instagram. Let's hashtag it today. Let's do a TikTok video on following Jesus. That's the social media that we should be worried about. That's the social media that we should be, be, be running with and following. Not what these idiots are saying on there and wearing, wearing no clothes and talking about foolishness, about, oh, I'm going to get married and I don't need, and I don't need to cook and I don't need to clean. That's foolishness. You better follow the word of God. You better follow the word of God and be different. Follow his commandments. Follow his ways. Follow his statutes. And you will see how God will bless you. Let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys something. When you walk on the road, you're not walking like a normal person. There are empty shells. You're walking with the glory of God. You're walking. 
grace of God. You're Amen. walking with the mercy of God. You're walking with the kindness of God. Yes, you're walking. What are you walking? You're walking in His glory. You're walking in His glory. You're walking in His goodness. You're walking in His mercy. You're walking in His spirit and His truth. So yes, you're walking God and be different. Walk with God and be different. Walk with God and be different. Oh yes, family. Oh yes. Rakaba sataya. Rikaba soto morendaya. Walk in God and be different. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks. Don't worry about what they try to say. Don't worry if they laugh at you. You will have the last laugh because eternity is promised to us that believe in God. So we'll get there one day and we'll see who's laughing. Oh, you better you better serve God and live. You better serve God and live. Don't worry about what anybody else to say. Don't worry about how they, what opinions they have. The only opinion we care about is Christ Jesus. The only God will preserve is Christ Jesus. Oh, Amen. yes, yes, yes. Oh, Father, we thank you. I have to be mindful of time. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Amen. Thank you, and we bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Father, we lift you on high for you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Father, we come before you tonight, Father, with thanksgiving, Father. Father, we thank you for another successful gathering in your name, O oh God. You said in your word, where two or three shall be in my name, there I will be. Father, we have met that number tonight, Father, so we thank you for being with us today. Father, we have learned so much, Father. We thank you tonight, Father, from, from the youngest to the oldest, Father. We thank you for the initiator. We thank you for the host. We thank you for the host. Father, we thank you, oh God, for, for, for the wisdom, Father, that you have given our initiator to put such a great conference on, Father. Father, we will leave this conference feeling filled. We will, feel this, we will leave this conference knowing that it's okay to be different. We will go through our normal lives knowing it's okay to be different. We will accept it, oh God. For we know being different means we are strong. We are mighty. We are powerful. We are a royal, holy priesthood. Light will follow us in the darkness in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just amen. clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus. Amen. 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 What a mighty God we serve. God, Pastor Lopez, we have learned a lot from you. In fact, in fact, in fact. Oh, what a word. God bless you. We are royals. We are royals. We are royals, my brothers and sisters. We are royals. So we have to come yeah. out and put the proper kind. The key. Amen. Amen. We are Amen. Shall we mute ourselves, please? Mute them. Amen. All too soon, we have come to the end of our program. And I can say boldly that we have truly been blessed today. Amen. We have been blessed. We'll have our time of offering and then we'll call our mommy in. Amen. So we will be doing our online offering so we can be able to host the next program Amen. for next year Amen. or in the middle of this year. August. August, yes, yes. Because last year was August. So we'll put the, the, the details on the screen. And mommies and daddies, please help us to give our offering. Amen. 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 For then, okay, well, I have to wait. Okay. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, um, Minister Naomi, thank you so, so much. Whilst we are waiting for the offering, you know, the, the details for the offering to be put on the screen, I would like to call on our mommy. If you can just, you know, we've come to the end of the program, but if you can just give us about uh, five more minutes and we'll be done. Five more minutes, we're taking our offerings. But before then, I would like to call on um, our mommy. She's our grandmother. She's my own mother, you know. Um, I love her so much. She's always been there for me, you know, always been there for me. And you can imagine, she just joined in, you know, this is the Children and Young People's Prayer Congress, you know, and she just, you know, she didn't even tell me that she was coming, but she just joined. We want to bless God for her life. Please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome with me, young people, young girls, 
the royals. We've learned quite a lot of things. You've got a new, you know, you've got an identity in Christ, but you've got lovely names right now. You are a royal. You are confident. No more fear. You know, all these names, like Minister Naomi said, write it down. Carry it about. Don't let anybody talk you into anything. Don't let anyone bully you. You cannot accept being bullied because your identity is in Christ. Your identity is in Christ. So if people are telling you anything, just say, no, that is the, the talk from the pit of hell. This is who you are. Just know that you are made in the image and likeness of God. I don't need to add more. I don't need to add more. Hallelujah. I'm going to quickly call on um, uh, mommy, uh, pastor, uh, Mrs. Kemi Ajayi. Over to you, mommy. Uh, what, what mommy is going to do is she's going to pronounce uh, blessings upon all our children, all our children that have ministered today and those that were not even able to join in. Over to you, ma. Thank you so much, ma. And then we'll take our offering. Then we will close. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Eunice, and uh, greetings, everybody. What an amazing time we have had today. What a time of blessing. What grace, what power, what anointing. All of you children, you have blessed me so much. May God bless you. So I'm going to pray as I've been requested, and, um, and, and I give greetings also to, to Pastor and some Kuti as well. God bless you, sir. Wonderful to be with you all. I, it's been just a time of blessing. So let's pray. Father, in Jesus Christ's name, we thank you so much for all that you have poured upon our lives and particularly the lives of these young people and for your hand upon their lives and all that you're continuing to do. <clears throat> I pray, Lord God, that your anointing would increase upon all of their lives. And even as your word says that your children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be your, 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 your undisturbed peace and composure. Mm -hmm. I pray, Lord God, that you yourself will teach every one of these children, those who are here, those who are not able to be with us, those who have ministered to us. Lord, I pray that your Holy Spirit would guide them in all the, 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 the days of their lives and show them which way to go, what to do. And, and Lord God, you guide them step by step and they will be obedient to you. Your sheep hear your voice and the voice of a stranger they will not follow. Father, cause them to hear you, cause them to be sensitive to you, cause them to be obedient. You are the ones who gives the capacity to, to, to will and to do of your good pleasure. I ask, oh God, that you will will your good pleasure in them, Amen. that you will do what you want them to do, Lord God. Give them the ability, the willingness, the obedience, and the total submission and surrender to you so that it will always be well with them, so that your peace that passes all human understanding will be their portion in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, I pray, <clears throat> as it says in Psalm 128, that, they will, that, that your children will bring you joy as they gather around your table. I pray that these, our children, oh God, would always be a source of joy to their parents. Lord God, you cause them to prosper in all that they lay their hands to do. Cause them to be above and not beneath, to, to be the first and not the last to be excellent, cause them to be diligent in that which has been committed to their charge. Mm -hmm. Cause them, oh God, to, to, to because they're, they're specially created by you, they're your royal priesthood, mm -hmm. your, they're, they're your, your, your special chosen generation. Lord, let them be the ones that will, would break new frontiers mm -hmm. and open the way for new discoveries. Let your power rest upon them. Let them, oh God, be protected from evil and from evil influences in the name of Jesus. And so I bless them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Bless them as they go out. Bless them as they come in. Let your grace abound towards them. Let them find favor in all that they do. And let your glory continue to shine upon their lives. So we bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you so much.
mommy kemi god bless you ma thank you so much pastor god bless you thank you so much at this junction we're going to take our offerings we want to actually thank everyone that has made up time to connect those that have joined us on facebook we want to thank you so much the streaming will be going off on facebook but we will remain on zoom so that we can put our videos on and we'll say hello to everyone um, we will just at this point take our offering. Amen. We will take Amen. our offering. Can you put your videos on, please? Please, we're taking our offerings. Children, you need to learn to give, but you know, you're giving willingly. Um, our account, you know, we, we're trying to set up our bank account, but it's been delayed, you know. But trust me, we've been we've maintained integrity, we've maintained integrity for a number of years. So if 